welcome to the next uh, lecture on module theory today we will discuss home functors so in the last class we have defined functors today we will study uh, home functors particularly we will prove that home functors are left exact so let me recall what is home functor so you start with an r module m then you can define a functor from the category of R modules to the category of abelian groups. And what is functor? So it is a map from one category to another. That means it is a map on the set of objects of one category to another. And also it is a map on the set of morphisms. So here we define this functor in this manner. So for any R module uh, N, it assigns to this abelian group. So uh, this thing it is always additive abelian group so you can consider two morphisms both are from m to n then you can add them so with respect to that addition it is abelian group and also you can assign each r module homomorphism from n1 to n2 you can assign it to a group homomorphism additive group homomorphism namely we define in this way so you consider f and what should be its image so considering this map and this map we can define a map that is psi compose f and then one can uh, verify that it preserves addition. So this map it is additive group homomorphism and this assignment it uh, respects the composition law namely you consider two linear maps one is uh, phi another one is psi then you can compose them and then you apply this functor so you will get this composition okay. and also it respects the identity morphisms namely you consider identity morphism on n then you apply this functor you should get that identity uh, morphism on this object f m of n so last time we have verified uh, these things therefore this uh, starting from an r module m you can define a covariant functor like this it is covariant because it respects the direction it preserves the direction of the arrows hmm? so you consider a map from n1 to n2 then its image again it is mapped from uh, this to this so it is a covariant from functor from the category of r modules to the category of abelian groups and then you can verify that when your base ring is commutative then this is this home of m comma n this is collection of all r modules from m to n it is actually r module and this additive group homomorphism it also preserves the scalar multiplication therefore this is r module homomorphism from this r module to uh, this therefore this functor it is actually giving a functor from the category of r modules to itself uh, you can replace this category of abelian groups by the category of r modules when your base ring is commutative sometimes we denote this functor just by home of m comma blank because this is the most natural choice similarly uh, for any r module n you can uh, define another functor that will be contravariant functor and we can denote that functor in this manner home of blank comma n and how to define that each r module m to this thing and it is just additive uh, abelian group and also you can assign each r module homomorphism to this uh, additive group homomorphism so how to define this map so here you consider f and then starting with this map and this how to get a map here so you can just take uh, composition f compose psi and psi is a map from m1 to m2 and then you apply f then you will get a map uh, here and then you can verify that it preserves addition okay so this is a additive group homomorphism um, and it also this assignment it also respects the composition law namely you consider two morphisms you can compose them and then you apply this functor then you will get this composition so you note that this thing uh, this functor it, it changes the order here 
so it is psi composed phi and here it is gn uh, com gn of uh, phi composed gn of psi because it uh, reverses the direction of the arrows so if you consider a map from m1 to n2 then it reverses its direction it gives a map uh, corresponding to m2 to here corresponding to m1 and it also respects the identity morphisms so last time we have verified uh, these two things so this is again this is a functor from the category of r modules to the category of abelian groups and if your base ring is commutative then this is actually r module and then this additive group homomorphism you can verify it also preserves scalar multiplication so this is r module homomorphism therefore if your base ring is commutative then you can replace this thing uh, by the category of r modules and this functor sometimes we denote in this manner home of blank comma n and today we will prove that these two functors these are left exact so here is the definition of contravariant uh, exact functor you consider a covariant additive functor and what i mean by additive so in this case uh, you consider uh, this morphism of you consider two objects x and y then you can have this set morphism of uh, collection of all morphisms from x to y then this category is uh, abelian category if uh, you have addition structure here and you can add two morphisms and what you get that is an, that is another morphism so with respect to addition this is abelian group okay so such category we call it uh, abelian category and if covariant functor it is called additive if it respects the addition so namely uh, this gives additive group homomorphism from here to this thing for examples home functors are additive it preserves additions of the morphisms you can verify okay so you consider covariant additive functor and that functor we call it exact if it preserves the exactness of sort exact sequences then you apply that functor on this sort exact sequence then you will get a, a sequence uh, so l1 it is mapping to here l2 is mapping to here l3 is mapping to here and this map phi it is mapping here yeah so in this way you can apply a functor on uh, an uh, on a sequence you will get another sequence so this condition it is saying that if you apply this functor on a sort exact sequence like this then again you will get sort exact sequence so such kind of functor we call it exact functor and and if it preserves exactness on the left side then we call it left exact namely you consider a sort exact sequence like this and if this induced sequence it is exact at this point and at this point then that functor we call it left exact functor so it is preserving the exactness on the left side similar way we can define right exact so if it preserves exactness on the right side so you consider a sort exact sequence and you apply your functor if it is exact at this point and at this point then such functor we call it right exact functor note that every exact functor it is left exact functor and also every exact functor it is right exact functor but converse need not be true always so there are examples of left exact functors which is not exact namely home functors are left exact but not exact today we will prove that similar way you can define contravariant uh, left exact functor what is that so you consider contravariant additive functor from one category to another and it is additive means it preserves additions uh, on the morphisms and in particular uh, it maps each zero map to uh, zero map okay so this functor uh, contravariant functor it is called exact if it preserves exactness on the sort exact sequences so you consider a sort exact sequence like this then this induced sequence that will be exact and note that since you are considering contravariant functor so it reverses the direction of the arrows so namely l1 is coming here l2 is coming here and l3 it is coming here and this 
phi it is oh, sorry phi is coming here and psi it is coming here okay so if it preserves exactness on the short exact sequences then we call that functor exact functor and similar way if it preserves exactness on the left side uh, uh, then it is called left exact so note that here this psi it is coming here so therefore uh, for any surjective map psi you should you should get an injective map okay so a functor contravariant functor it is called left exact if it preserves exactness on the left side and it is called right exact if it preserves exactness on the right side and why we define uh, exact functor in this manner only why we are considering only short exact sequences uh, because any exact sequence you can break into short exact sequences so it is enough to consider short exact sequences only so in other words you can define exact functor in this manner if it preserves exactness of any uh, exact sequence okay so here are examples today we will prove that this covariant functor home functor and this is contravariant uh, home functor these are left exact but these are not exact functor and similarly tensor product uh, functor one can verify that this is right exact functor but it is not exact functor so let's prove uh, this theorem so it says that this functor home functor it is left exact so it preserves ex exactness on the left side so you consider a short exact sequence like this and then you apply this functor home of d comma blank uh, okay we denote is uh, it by f sub d you apply this functor on this short exact sequence then you will get this sequence and it is saying that it is exact at these two points so how to prove that it is exact at this point it is equivalent to prove that it uh, this map it is injective okay so you consider uh, a morphism uh, from the domain okay namely here so f is a map from d to l and then if you apply uh, this functor uh, you get zero so we are considering a morphism which is there in the kernel of this map we want to prove that that map it is zero okay so this thing is there in the kernel that means by definition you should have this composition it is zero so phi compose f it is zero and since if uh, since phi is injective then it follows that f is zero because starting with this you can see that phi compose f of x that will be zero for all x and it Im implies that f of x it is zero for all x because phi is injective yeah so this thing proves that this map it is injective therefore uh, this sequence is exact at this point and next we should prove it is exact at this point so we should prove that image of this map this one it is same as kernel of this map yeah we should prove this equality thing with short exact sequence so uh, image of this phi it, yeah so therefore psi compose phi it is zero so this composition it is zero okay so this is zero map and since your functor is additive this home functor is additive you can verify so in particular it preserves the zero maps because zero you can write as zero plus zero and then you apply that functor since your functor is additive from there you can get a zero map then you will get a zero map okay so therefore uh, this functor f sub d uh, of this thing it is zero and since your functor uh, means it preserves composition so uh, this thing it is same as this one so it is f sub d of psi compose f sub d of phi so this composition is zero and once this composition is zero from here you can get that image of this map that should be contained in the kernel of this map so you will have this containment so it remains to prove the reverse inclusion namely uh, this one okay 
So next we should prove this reverse inclusion. So you start with an element here, okay. Uh, you start with an element here. That means if uh, it should be it should be map from D to M. So I should write if it is map from D to M, okay. So suppose it is there in the kernel of this map. Okay. We want to prove that this f it is there in the image of this thing. Okay. So what is this map? This is just this one. So we want something here. Uh, we want something here such that its image that should be this. And we are starting with we are starting with uh, something whose image is zero via this map. So it is it is zero. So we want something here, namely we want g such that this f sub d of phi of g, uh, that means image of g via this map, it is f. And it is equivalent to say, it is equivalent to say, so we have defined in this way phi compose g that should be f. So we just want to define this map so that this composition it is f. Okay. So, we are starting with an element of kernel uh, f sub d of psi. Okay. So, therefore, uh, this thing that f d of psi of f it is 0 and this thing by definition that means you have psi compose f that is 0. So, from here what you have? You have image of f that is it is contained in kernel of psi but you are starting with a short exact sequence. So, kernel of psi it is same as image of phi. So, you have this equality. So, ultimately you are getting image of f it is contained in image of uh, phi. We will use that later. So, our aim is to construct a map g. So, we define in this way. Define g First of all, a map from L to L. So, you start with an element uh, in D and question is how to get an element of L in a natural way. Okay. So, starting with an element of D, what you, yeah. So, you can apply, so you have all these informations, you have this F and you have this containment relation. Okay. So, starting with an element of D, what you can do, you can just consider consider f of x. So then f of x, it is an element in M, and then we want an element of L. Okay. So if you uh, if you consider, uh, yeah. So we should get an element here. How to get that? So we will use this containment relation. Okay. So since f of x, it is there in image of f and it is contained in this. So since f of x, it is there in image of phi, uh, there exist y x belongs to L such that f of x it is same as phi of y x. So, if we define this map by assigning x to this y x then is this map well defined that is the question right. So, we should uh, we should prove that you have only one choice for this and it depends only on x. Okay. But we can see that uh, for f of for x you can consider f of x and for f of x you can have such pre image. Okay. Why you have only one such pre image? Because uh, this phi it is injective. Okay. So, if you have, so suppose there exist. Uh, there exists y x prime belongs to L such that f of x it is same as phi of y x. Then you can see that 
uh, phi of y x it is same as phi of y x uh, prime because both are same as f of x and from there you can get y x is same as y x prime because phi is injective yeah. you are starting with this sort exact sequence okay therefore this is unique it depends only on x so this map it is well defined and next you can verify that this map it preserves addition and scalar multiplication uh, using the fact that both f and this phi they preserve addition and scalar multiplications so you can you can verify that this is an r module homomorphism and next you should verify uh, that image of g via this map it should be this equivalently we should verify that this composition it is same as f and verify this equality okay so what is the domain of g it is just uh, d so uh, we should verify that this one it is same as f of x okay so this is uh, phi of mm, yeah so what is g of x how to define that so it is defined in this way y x okay where uh, phi of y x it is same as f of x okay so therefore this is same as f of x and this is true for all x belongs to d okay so from the construction you can see that phi compose g it is same as f you have this okay so therefore this f uh, it is it is there in image of uh, this thing okay so we have this uh, inclusion and thus we proved that kernel of this map it is same as image of this map so exactness of at this point it follows and this proof uh, this proves that this home functor it is left exact next we should prove that this contravariant functor it is also left exact so you consider this a uh, sort exact sequence and then you apply this functor home of blank comma d we denote that functor by g sub d and if we apply this functor on this then you will get this sequence we will just prove that it is exact at this point and at this point okay so note that that this map it is induced by this psi and this map it is induced by this uh, this phi okay so to prove exactness at this point uh, we need to prove that this map is injective okay so again you start something from here suppose its image via this map it is zero so start with f suppose uh, its image is zero means f is there in the kernel of uh, this map and therefore so this thing by definition of this map you have that f compose psi it is zero okay and once you have this then you can conclude that f is zero because this psi it is surjective map you are starting with a short exact sequence where and that means uh, this map it is surjective okay and once it is surjective it covers the whole codomain and codomain of psi it is same as the domain of f so this thing it covers the whole domain of f and therefore this composition is zero that proves that f is zero okay so this is exact at this point that we have proved and next we should prove exactness at this point namely image of this map it it should be same as kernel of this map okay we should verify this equality again one containment is obvious because you are starting with this sort exact sequence so therefore image of phi it is same as kernel of psi or in particular you have this composition it is zero okay then you apply your functor g sub d on this composition it is just zero map and since your uh, functor is additive it uh, preserves the zero maps so you apply g sub d on zero map you will get zero map so therefore this thing is zero and what is this it is uh, 
since GD it uh, respects the composition, so this is same as G sub D of phi and G sub D of psi because you are applying a contravariant function. It, it will change uh, the order of this. Okay. So ultimately you will get that this composition is 0. Okay. And from here you can conclude that image of this map it is contained in the kernel of uh, this map. Okay. So you have this containment and next we should prove the reverse inclusion. So here we will prove that. So again you start with an element in this kernel okay. and so that means this g sub d of phi of f it is 0 and by by definition of this map uh, you will have you will have this okay so that means f compose uh, phi it is 0 and that implies that image of uh, this phi uh, it should contain it should be contained in kernel of f okay and you are starting with a short exact sequence so image of phi it is same as kernel of psi so that means you have this containment relation we will use that later but we want to prove that uh, this element which is there in the kernel it is there in the image of this map okay so what is this map it is this one so that means we should find uh, a pre image here of f we should find something whose image will be f okay so namely we should find g uh, here such that its image via this map it is f and this thing is equivalent to say that g compose psi it is f so we should find g such that this composition it is same as f so next you define uh, this g from n to d. So you consider an element here and then what should be its image. Okay. So you are starting with an element here and we should get an element of d. Okay. So starting with uh, this point where can you go in a natural way. Okay. So, our ultimate goal is to find uh, an element uh, in D. Okay. So, starting with X, uh, you can consider uh, this map. So, since this map is surjective, uh, you will have uh, a pre-image here by a, uh, this map psi. Okay. And that, that means you, you are there in M and then you can apply uh, what is f yeah you can apply f because uh, your f is a map from m to d okay so you can define in this way so it is f of yx and now the question is is this map is this assignment it is is it well defined so again answer is yes because so uh, so you may have multiple choices here but if you apply f then that will be unique okay so we should prove that yeah so if yx uh, prime it is yeah psi of this thing it is same as x and it is same as psi of yx okay let's say we have this and we should prove that f of yx so this thing it implies that yx prime minus yx uh, it is there in kernel of psi but kernel of psi it is contained in kernel of f so you have this containment relation now we will use that okay so therefore this thing uh, uh, implies that f of yx prime it should be same as f of yx and hence uh, you may have multiple choices here but if you apply f then it, it, it is unique and it depends only on x. So this assignment uh, it is well defined. So it is well defined map g and next you can verify that it preserves addition 
as well as scalar multiplication using the fact that both f and psi are all linear maps and by construction you will have uh, this uh, equality so namely we should verify that g compose psi uh, if you consider an element uh, from the domain of psi uh, it is just uh, yeah so y x it's uh, so you just consider y x okay and then uh, what is this it is g of yeah uh, so g of yeah so g of what is psi of y x it is just x and by definition g of x it is uh, yeah. so starting with any arbitrary element so next we want to verify this equality so you start with any arbitrary element of m and if you apply a psi okay so let me denote this thing okay uh, so any arbitrary element and then its image uh, via this thing uh, let's say it is x okay then if you apply g then by definition it, it is f of y x okay so you have this equality and it proves that this map f it is there in image of uh, this thing uh, so we will have you will have this containment relation and therefore uh, image of this map it is same as kernel of this map and it is exact at this point so this proves that this functor, this contravariant functor, this is also left exact. Next, uh, we should argue that though these functors, uh, these home functors, these are left exact, but uh, it need not be exact. Okay. So for a particular module uh, uh, m, uh, home of m comma blank, it need not be exact functor. So here is one example. You consider uh, this Z module, okay? Then you consider this home functor, home of Z mod N Z comma blank. This is not exact functor. We have already proved that it is left exact. And next, we should verify that uh, it uh, so this functor it is not exact. So this, so if we denote this by star on star, then then this uh, what you get it is. Uh, home of yeah so is it you now question is is it exact yeah so you can verify that you have only trivial homomorphism from z mod nz to uh, z okay uh, yeah because uh, it is uniquely determined by the image of one bar and you can see that image of one bar uh, it should have finite order because one bar it has order n so then its image should have finite order but only element in z which has finite uh, order it is just zero so this collection it is just zero or this is uh, zero module okay and this is zero yeah i should use different color uh, this is also zero but this one it is non-zero okay. anyway it is exact at this point and this point but what about this point? So it is exact at this point, it is equivalent to say that this map is surjective. Is it surjective? No, because this map, it is coming from a zero module to a non-zero module. So this map, it cannot be surjective, okay? So uh, I should write, it's, it is not exact. So therefore, uh, this functor, it is not exact functor. And what about this contravariant functor? So you consider same sort exact sequence and you apply this, then what you get? So in this case, uh, you will get this sequence is exact. Uh, it is equivalent to say that it is exact at this point, at this point. Or it is equivalent to say that this map is surjective because uh, we already know that home functor is left exact. So it is exact at this point, at this point. But what about this point? So is this map surjective? That is the question. Now, so this map, uh, yeah, this map, it is given by multiplication uh, by n, okay? So this map, uh, yeah, it sends uh, x to n x, 
that is the map mu n this map mu n it is given by multiplication by n and so its image is uh, ng nz and so kernel of this natural uh, projection map it is it is also nz bar okay so you consider this short exact sequence and then you apply this functor then you will get a sequence like this now question is whether it is exact or not okay so then this map you can verify that this map it is also given by multiplication by n so i i can write n dot okay so then since it is given by multiplication by n so this map it is just zero map you can verify okay and this is something non zero and this is zero map so this map it is not surjective okay so therefore you, if you apply this functor on this short exact sequence it does not preserves uh, the it does not preserve the exactness okay so uh, in particular this functor this contravariant functor it is not exact and stop here